Hi everyone, welcome to my March Monthly Reset. It is the end of February and March is going to be the last month in quarter one. Let's go over some of the goals that I set for the entire year as well as my Feb goals and set goals for March. I'm also going to be creating my March vision board for my phone and my desktop. You'll notice that I am at a new location. I'm not shooting at my home. That's because I'm in my office in Hyderabad, so I won't be updating my physical vision board because I don't have it here with me, but I will be updating my digital vision board. Let's get started. I have open here my 2024 goals spreadsheet. I'm going to link it down below if you guys also want to purchase it and fill it out and follow along throughout the year like me as well. Let's get started. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was not a great month for me. There was stuff that was happening, but I felt like I kind of lost the vision for this month and I wasn't able to kind of jump back on. So in Feb, in like the beginning in the second week of Feb, we decided to do an impromptu trip to the Maldives and it was like literally decided five days before we were gonna go and it was not in my calendar and I feel like it just threw everything off. We had an amazing trip but it just threw everything off and after I got back from the trip I was like one week behind work and then we were I was in Hyderabad we we're supposed to start shooting I didn't have scripts ready I didn't have things ready and it just kind of I felt like flopped. I felt like it flopped. But let's just go over everything that I've listed in my goals and my Feb goals, like these resets and like looking over everything. So when I do have a bad month, like not bad month, but like just like a month that I didn't nail everything that I was going to. When I do have a month like this, I can kind of look back and see and how I can improve and where I'm at for the year. If I don't do something like this and it gets to the end of the year where every month is kind of like this month and I don't end up achieving anything at all. So the first thing that we have is travel. So go Going to 20 new countries. I did not do this Maldives. I've already been to in 2020 or 2021. I've already been there. Visit one new country in East Asia. Haven't done this. Visit four new countries with Gigi. So Maldives is a new country for her. So that's like one down, but I have three more to go still. Snorkeling trip slash session. Unfortunately, even though we were in the Maldives and the water was beautiful, we did not get to go because it was so windy there and the water was so choppy. Just so weird because usually in the Maldives like you do have monsoon season but every single time that I've went which is one time and every single one time that others have gone which is multiple times in their case but everybody we've all said that it's been perfect weather for snorkeling so it's just like a, a freak thing where it was just not meant to be so I did not get to go snorkeling but it's so funny because I knew I had this goal on my goals list so I was actively just trying so hard to make it happen. And yeah, it didn't. Ballet and musical, haven't done that. To visit a European Christmas market and see the Northern Lights, obviously have not. Okay, so let's go over to work. I have not reached my sales goals yet. We didn't daily um, post for the month, but we're gonna get through all of that. We did, we did get monetized on YouTube. I'm gonna insert a little clip here of like me getting monetized. It's so funny because I've been shooting like just like each day, like I'm checking for monetization. I'm checking, I'm checking. I, sh I was shooting this for like each day over like three months or four months. And the day that I got monetized, I when I put the camera to shoot me, just like as I was checking, not expecting anything, I had the camera on 2x zoom. So like all you can see is like a little portion of my nose. I have some kind of footage of it, but you guys will see it right now. I got monetized on YouTube. What? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Okay, so that's like a, such a huge pivotal, like, oh my gosh, moment for me. And it's so funny, since we got monetized, we haven't posted a single video. That's because we've just had issues with editing. We've had issues with reviewing content. One of our editors' computers, it's not working. And it's just so funny because we've been trying to get monetized for the longest time. And as soon as we're monetized, we don't have any content to post. So launch. 5x digital products new nope. 320 patrons no i have less patrons than i actually no yeah i have less patrons than i did last month it did go up to like 29 or something and then i lost a whole bunch so and i also haven't posted on patreon much i think once or twice i posted about it so that's also like a little bit my fall haven't been really like on top of it this month with it we also stopped posting on like life is your youtube page we posted like four videos in june and i think a video in feb and then 
just again hasn't happened. Close Champs Fleur, kind of in the process of doing that, I think would be closed by like March or April, like all of our products will be sold. Finished renovating and setting up the house. Now I haven't been home, like I haven't been to our house in like three weeks now it is. Um, we've been in Hyderabad, we've been in the Maldives and now I'm in Hyderabad. So I don't know the status of the renovation. I think when we go back, I'm gonna be back at home like mid-March. I think some portion of it should be complete. But again, like you just like never know, like maybe since we're not there, they're not gonna actually do anything and we'll have to go there and follow up. Invisalign, I was supposed to go to the dentist this trip in Hyderabad for my Invisalign appointment. And my Invisalign appointment was actually supposed to be today. Today's the 26th of Feb and they canceled. And I feel so irritated at myself because I had like two and a half weeks to go and I left it till this date. I'm leaving Hyderabad to go to Tokyo on Wednesday. And I just feel so like silly about it because it should have been the first thing that I did. And now again, I'm gonna be leaving Hyderabad and it's not done. So I'm gonna have to wait until the next time, which is gonna be in May. Run this five, see 5k program I've just I finished week three this month I haven't been as consistent with that I really kind of lost the wave the grind the like the flow of it since we went to the Maldives I didn't I thought I would run there but then I didn't end up running there we had like a funny incident with one of the guests there and I got a little bit freaked out and then also then coming to Hyderabad I just since we don't have the treadmill in my room it just was like you know like when you have to start something for the first time it's always the most difficult so that didn't happen find a common hobby oh work my way through a cookbook dirty recipes from the cookbook my cookbook is, is in I didn't even bring it to Rancho which would be ridiculous to carry a cookbook with me but I um, haven't been working on that um, find a common hobby with my husband we have started, like we started to do yoga together in Feb, in Jan, I would say Feb, Jan, something like that. And we're also reading and we don't like to read the same books. We do like to do yoga together, but we don't like to read the same books, which is disappointing because all I want is like to have someone that I can talk about books about but he does not like the books that I'm reading so um and then um my uh read 25 books I've read a few books this year so let's go ahead and update that countries traveled I haven't traveled to any of these countries so far um I will be going on in March I'm gonna tick off a bunch of these so look forward to that so for books read uh, the book that I read is Blue Lily, Lily Blue. I didn't get to finish it in Jan. Like the ending was like a little slow, a little took me a little bit longer. Did finish it in the month of February. I also finished The Raven King, which is the last installment for the Raven, Raven Cycle series. And then I also, what else did I read this month? Oh, I read Fourth Wing. That was done and I read, read Iron Flame and I have to tell you, I thought I would be like, hmm, okay, like I kind of like it. It's a good read, but I am obsessed. Like it's, I love books that are like, just can take you in to a like kind of a different world and is like an easy read. I know like if you are a seasoned reader and it's not like an advanced read, it's not Shakespeare, it's not Jane Austen or something, but I just want to escape like the stresses of life or things that I'm anxious about, things that I'm sad about, about, etc. And I don't want to have a complicated read where I'm having to kind of make sense of stuff. Like I just want to, like how you watch TV or how you watch like silly shows on Netflix, like how you're going to watch Friends or Modern Family. I just want like light reads like that, but still like has a good plot, has those twists and twists and turns, has that smut, has a little spice. And Fourth Wing and Iron Flame did that for me. Somebody on my DMs on Instagram spoiled the ending of Iron Flame for me and I was so upset. I couldn't read for an entire day. I was so upset. I was like, okay I was just like let me go online and look up what um like actually happens in Iron Flame but I pushed through and I just like read it but I'm so glad I didn't spoil it more for myself because I realized it was just like a little line kind of thing like it was a big thing that they spoiled but everything else that happened in the book was still like as amazing and that line there was so much that got came into that line or came, came into that event that they spoiled for me that's there right now I'm reading from the blood an Ash series. Don't know if I should say what I'm reading because I don't want someone else to spoil the series for me, but that's what I'm reading. And I think there's five 
books in the series and there's some prequel, three prequel books or something. I'm not quite sure, but I'm not going to finish the first book that I'm on this month, I don't think. And I'm also reading It Ends With Us. That's like a physical copy that I have. And I'm kind of switching back and forth between the two of them. I've heard such mixed reviews about Colleen Hoover books and I don't know how much like I'm gonna I'm like maybe like five six chapters in I want to finish it because I have two copies like at home that I mistakenly bought so I do want to finish it and like get rid of it from my TBR jar but at the same time I'm just so invested in fantasy books right now that it just kind of falls flat I needed to have like some fantasy element as well as having like I like it when it has like a series or I don't like standalones it has to be like a duology or a trilogy or something because I get so connected and invested with the characters that I want to find out. Like I want to keep going with them. And I think It Ends With Us has like a second book or something, but it is missing the fantasy element of it. But these two books are like my goals for March. I'm just going to try and aim to read like, I'm really going to try and aim just to read like one or two books because I am traveling for most of March. I think I'm only like home for like five days or six days or something. So, okay. So programs and eBooks, I didn't launch anything. So my starting followers in Feb or my current followers right now in Feb are four, four, Zero. Okay, cool. And then my ending patrons are 22. And then I'll fill in my sales goals in private. So next I'm going to go over to monthly to do or my monthly goals and kind of sift through this. It's going to be pretty quick because like I mentioned before, I wasn't that great at um, executing these. So yeah, make this number in sales. No, because I changed my sales strategy like five days into the month. I didn't hit this number that I had in mind with the products that I had in mind, if that makes sense. Yeah. Move into my new office. We're hoping to move in by March 5th. So not quite tick, but we do have a place. We did give a deposit, but let's see like what happens. That's what happened to our first place as well. We signed the contract. We gave the deposit. We had begun the process of moving in where we got like cleaners in and all of that stuff. And then it kind of the opportunity disappeared so hoping it doesn't happen this time but let's see I have 30 patrons I didn't achieve this complete up to week five of c25k I didn't achieve this I completed up to week three daily posting nope eight patron posts four no 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 read two books now I did do this cook two recipes I did do this I made mac and cheese and then I made another recipe that I'm forgetting but I made mac and cheese from scratch and I'm so proud of myself like not the macaroni I didn't make but everything else I made from scratch I didn't get to do this Monetize on YouTube? Yes. Launch transfer sales? We did launch. However, we haven't sold 50% of the inventory because we've just added a whole bunch of new inventory. But yeah, I'm not going to take that because I didn't hit that. But here we go. That is um, kind of what I've done for our monthly goals. And then obviously for our quarterly goals, this is kind of where we at. I've got monetized on YouTube. I have four more quarterly goals to go. New studio, I'm closing my business, finishing the C25K program and Invisalign. I'm hoping Elise's studio one and closing shops through I'll get done by this quarter, but maybe these next two will take a little bit more time. I'm just going to refresh this main calendar over here. We're going to change it over to March and you can see all of the dates change. And then I just removed all of my Feb goals from here. And I'm going to set five goals for myself in the month of March. Now I know that is significantly less than Feb where I set myself like 20 goals and achieved three of them. Um, so not great, <laughs> but I decided in the month of March, I'm going to set myself be a little bit more realistic since I am traveling for two thirds of the month that I'm not going to get like a bunch. It's not going to be a hyper productive month in terms of like some of the stuff. It's still hyper productive because I count traveling as productive and I count reading as productive and etc. So I'm still somewhat productive, but not what like, you know, like 20 goals worth of stuff. So my first goal is to move in to our new place we have to do it in March our current landlord will not extend our lease anymore we were supposed to move out in December and he extended it until Jan and then he extended until Feb and then he was like okay you guys are cut off you have to move out in March which is also just like a great push because like one of the things that I found really difficult was the fact that I was not in here in Hyderabad like I'm not in here in the city where I'm looking for places I've had a lot of trouble finding a place just because I don't live in the city and 
sometimes we'll find like great five, six places. And then I'm like, okay, great. I'm going to come and have a look at them. And then by the time I'm in town, had a look at them or maybe even not had a chance to look at them, they're already gone or we go there and we realize like, okay, this is bad lighting. It's too noisy, etc. The current place that we have and then hopefully we'll be moving into in the next few days. It's not perfect by any means. It's not perfect. It's extremely old. I don't want to say it's old, but it's like dated. It needs a fresh coat of paint. It's really like filthy, dirty in the sense that like there's a lot of wear and tear, not like it's trashed, but there's just like a lot of wear and tear. Like it just needs a fresh coat and some like nice lighting and all of that put in but it's like right next to a temple which can get really loud certain times in the day and then it's also right next to a school which during lunchtime apparently it's extremely loud which is like not conducive to when we're like shooting videos it's really annoying when that happens but we need to move out it doesn't matter where it is if this place doesn't work it's gonna be in like a room in my house or like a co-working space or something so but this needs to happen in the month of march we need to leave this office my second goal is to visit seven new countries which i think will be pretty doable or like it's going to definitely happen because i've already booked the flights and all of that kind of stuff to visit the seven countries the only reason that it's not gonna happen if something like out of the ordinary happens like my flight gets cancelled or just something something happens like I'm not able to travel or something like that so fingers crossed that doesn't happen um, I really hope I can meet, make it on this trip I'm gonna be meeting my sister in Europe for 10 days and I'm really excited this is gonna be our second trip no this is our third trip to Europe together that is so wild because growing up we didn't travel at all and now it's our third time going to Europe I, I thought in my life I'd only go to Europe like one time and that was it like you only go once and you're done like you know you've spent um, as much as you can you like had the best time you just told me that we're me and my sister were going for the third time together and we're visiting seven new countries third goal is read two new books I'm hoping I can finish at least two books from the blood from the blood and ash from blood and ash whatever it's, that series I'm hoping I can finish at least two books or the first book from blood and ash and it ends with us at least pretty easy reading goal considering I am going to be traveling I don't want to do an aggressive reading goal for this because or else I end up staying up really late at night to read and then on top of that like during social things like or wanting to go out or something like that I don't want to like because I want to keep reading and stuff so I'm going to set myself a really relaxed goal of just like two books and I'm pretty I have a goal of 25 books this year and I'm already at eight on month number two so I feel pretty like relaxed at this point that I most likely I'm going to hit my goal. Goal number four is to post four videos on YouTube. This is for my Curious Chitra page. And if for this one, we manage to just sort everything out with our computers and our timelines and all of that, I think this is a pretty easy breezy goal that we should be able to hit. Week five of C25K. And again, with like the week, with the two thirds of like the month traveling, I think this is like a pretty okay goal that I should be able to again achieve. I'm hoping I can finish week four this week. And then if I get a chance to do week five when I'm in like Japan or when like whatever, if I like I'm ahead of week five, that's also fine. But I've calculated this as like this week, I'm going to finish week four. And then in March, I have like one week where I'm not traveling. So that's the week I'm going to finish week five, if anything. But I'm not pressuring myself to run while I'm traveling just because it's not always like possible. And I don't want to come back at the end of the month and be like disappointed in myself. All right, guys. So that is my monthly goals for March of this month. The next thing that I want to do is I did initially say that I want to do a vision board for my laptop. But what I might do is just like a vision board for my phone. I'm going to skip on doing a vision board, I think, for my laptop like right now or at least in this video because I don't think I'm going to be on my laptop all that often this month. So I'm just going to skip that part and just do it directly on my phone because I know I'm going to have my phone. I might like just like take what's on my phone and then move it onto my laptop or have it on my iPad because most likely I'll be using my iPad and going to Europe with that. I have a few images already downloaded, but I'm just going to have a look at what my goals were and just like centered around there this month is supposed to be like pretty easy breezy like i'm not trying to do a million things this month as you guys can see so i already have an image for moving in and then i have a few images for the seven new countries that i want to visit and then i want to do like reading 
aesthetic. Basically, I love having a reading aesthetic picture, basically just in bed reading a book, like something like this. It's just really nice. Okay, let's just do something for YouTube. So maybe like a picture like this is really nice. Just something really simple and that gives like the I'm vlogging type of vibe. I think I like this picture. I'm gonna download. All right, so let's go now over to Canva. I'm gonna use the same template that I used last month for this. Let's just go ahead and find that actually. Oh, I need a few more images probably. Okay, so some of them I can just keep and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna upload the files that I've downloaded from Pinterest. I'm gonna put in a few new ones. All right, so the last thing that I'm currently doing is I'm just finding, I wanna find an image of like a cake or like something little like cute. Um, my baby's turning one in March and we're going to Tokyo for her birthday. So I wanna just have that on my kind of like my vision board. I know like it's gonna happen. It's not like it's not going to happen. Um, like I need to, it's not like something I need to manifest, but I just, like when I have that reminder there to be like present for the day because I am someone that gets very like, you know, everything's not going right or this is not happening or that is not happening. And I just like want to remind myself that, hey, like things are going to work out the way they're going to work out. Like that kind of a, I don't know, a vibe. Um, we are going with family and, you know, sometimes things just happen or like, I don't know, you just feel flustered or such a big day that it makes you like everything has to go perfect. Like sometimes that's what my mindset becomes. And I don't want to have that mindset. I want to just be able to like just enjoy and like things just happen the way that they happen and like just take the moment in because not only is she turning one, it's like my first like year of being a mom. And it's like a big deal to me, especially as someone who like, like wasn't like I didn't grow up wanting to be a mom I would say so like the fact that I made it and that I feel like I'm a good mom and I've done good by my kid I've raised a good kid or like so far in her first year and like everything in the past year like I just want to be able to be in that moment and be like whoa like how far have I come in like the past like nine months of being pregnant and then also like one year of having a baby and like just like just in the last one year, etc. You like you kind of get my vibe. But yeah, I just want to take that in for a little moment. Also planning on going to Disneyland for her birthday. Um, I know that might be a little like cliche or something like that, but as a kid, we never ever ever went to theme parks whatsoever. So it means like a lot that you know, like I can do this for my kid. Like I can take her to a theme park for her birthday and give her just like a lavish like experience for her birthday. Okay, so I've just pulled up this image. All right, I think I'm gonna put this image like right here, kind of in the center. Oh no, should I put it here? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it like here. And my Norway image, I don't wanna get rid of that because it's still a big goal of mine. So I'm just gonna kind of put that ish in the corner kind of disappeared there. Or maybe I'll just like sneak it in right over here and I'll drag it down a little bit. It's a little like high up, you get my point. And then over here, I might just put like these running ones or something. All right, okay, so this is, um, what should be my quote for the month of March? I wanna keep it, I can't make it, I'll be in Norway, S's, but I don't know. It should relate to something in my goals list. I have a new office. It could be I visited seven new countries so far. Four videos. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna actually include all of them. I'm gonna include all of them. Is that too much? Who knows? But I wanna do like, I just wanna have like, these are my goals for the month. Is this the right way of doing it? No, I think I wanna do it like. So I'm just gonna drag this down. And then here I'll have like March goals. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna highlight that. I'm gonna go over to my favorite font, which is Futura at the moment. And I'm gonna highlight March goals like that. And then, all right, I put all of my goals in. I like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit more. All right, I'm happy with that, guys. For this month, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have all of the goals together and then you have like all of my little pictures everywhere as well. It's a vibe, it's happening. I like that. I might change this one, this coffee picture to here. And I'm gonna actually 
move this picture of Trevi Fountain just to the side because that's a big goal of mine to be able to see the Trevi Fountain. I was supposed to go twice in 2022. Both trips got canceled. I was supposed to go last year. It, that trip got canceled. So it's just been on my bucket list for such a long time and it would mean like it's so much to me if I when I get to see it. It's a big, 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 big milestone, big deal. That is going to be my vision board for the month. I'm going to download that and I'm going to drop it on both of my phones. But that's a wrap. All right. Okay, guys, that is our March goals. Um, that's a little vision board that I've made and I'm not going to do one. I don't think I'm going to do one for my desktop right now. From Wednesday onwards, I probably won't be looking at my computer too much. If I do, I'll insert like a picture of it, what it looks like, but that is it. That's a wrap and I hope you guys had a good February drop down. Let me know what some of your March goals are. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.